Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at the Starry Sky Projector. And just a while back we checked out another model that was similar in terms of functionality, in terms of giving us a laser light that simulates the stars, and then a LED bulb that can change different colors, kind of like a galaxy or ocean wave. It was quite dazzling and popular over the holiday season. This is kind of an upgraded version that comes in a different shell. Now it's in a square package, more reminiscent of a traditional video projector, a little more complex compact and easier to move around, and it still has a remote control function, still it has a Bluetooth function as well that you can use it and access a Bluetooth speaker. Just like before, there are the laser lights as well as the LED lights for the colors, but there is one new function here which is the moonlight. It's going to cast this artificial crescent moon as well, uh, which was a mode that we didn't see previously, so this can really try to imitate the night sky when you have it turned on, and of course can change between various different colors. Colors. The timer here can also be used so you can turn the projector off automatically after a few minutes. We've got a quick user guide. We have a remote as well that takes a cell battery that you can use to control various lighting effects. And we also have a wall adapter to provide power to the projector light. It takes a micro USB lead. Now just like before though, this is not a model that comes with a built-in battery. And what that means is you have to be connected to power at all times when you're trying to use it. It is something I would like to see added, maybe as an option in the future, but it is what it is. You can also use an external power bank. Taking a closer look at the design, the body here is constructed out of a polycarbonate plastic. Really does feel like a mini video projector. It can lie completely flat, or there's also a few adjustments on the sides that you can use to position it upright like this, as well as tilt it upwards at an angle as well to make it easier to shine the light onto the ceiling. So a few different modes which are pretty useful to have, and then we even have a few controls here for power and cycling through some of the basic modes if you don't want to use the remote, which is a great secondary function. Finally, there is the speaker here, and it is using a mono speaker though, so it's not a stereo unit, unlike that previous version that we saw. Edge here features the micro USB, and that's pretty much it. And of course, we have some of the laser lights coming out from the sides, as well as the moonlight, and the main lens here for the ocean effect. A very quick side-by-side -side with the other older model, we can see that the dimensions overall are close, but of course the previous dome uh, made it not as easy to put into a backpack, for example. This is a little bit more compact. Turning it on, you can see that immediately the laser lights are extremely bright and can be even visible when there's a bit of background light in the room still on, but obviously for the best effect, you would want to really dim all the lights as much as possible. So again, the laser lights here are really trying to simulate the stars, which move around slowly and oscillate, spinning inside of the motor. Same thing goes with the actual LED lights are trying to also oscillate and change patterns. If we move it a little bit further away, it might be a little easier to see, and we can really get a sense of how, really how dazzling it is. Reminds you of the galaxy, a nebula somewhere, uh, with all of its colors and patterns. And in terms of the new moonlight, the crescent here is not changeable in terms of that is one part that doesn't move or rotate, and also doesn't go through different phases. So there's no full moon, for example, it will always be a crescent. However, it still is an interesting touch. In terms of some of the functions here, in terms of the keys, I can tap on uh, the middle key here once to basically turn off the laser lights, and you can see we're left with just the dazzling LED plus the moon. Tap on it again, and we have just the moon and the stars, that is another effect. And then once more, the moon actually goes away, and then once more, the entire thing turns off. The third mode here is can be tapped on to change the brightness level, so I can turn it down, as well as tap on it again to turn it to the maximum setting. One thing I will say, though, is the orientation of the crescent moon really only makes sense um, if you are positioning the projector flat like this. If you're tilting it on the sideways, you can see how the image of the moon is basically going to be sideways as well. Uh, so that's one thing that might be a little bit weird, but... Overall, it still works well enough. In terms of the remote control, let's try going through some of the other modes here very quickly. So we have a microphone function that can react in terms of the lighting. It will flash to the beat of the music using a mic that's built in. And in terms of uh, the other controls, you can turn on or off different elements separately. So for example, tapping on the star will turn off the laser lights. Red, green, and blue can also be adjusted, so I can only turn on a shade of color that I prefer, as you can see there, which is uh, pretty interesting. And otherwise, I can also play around with the speed of the animations. So if you want it to spin faster or slower, you can also speed it up and slow it down. And if I tap on this, you can hear the motor start to kick up the pace a little bit. Uh, versus if I want it to slow it down, I can stop the movement until it's almost completely still sitting at an 
image. Finally, you can also change things like a few different preset modes in terms of animations uh, to kind of go into a flashing effect as well as a stable effect and it will just slowly revolve. Now for a demo of the audio quality using the Bluetooth speakers. There's a nice touch of lower frequency when you hear the drum beat hits, and the mids are also relatively clear sounding. Obviously, it's not going to be the most high end or hi fi grade speaker in the world and can slightly distort at higher volumes when it comes to trebles if you're being super nitpicky, but definitely can be used for playing back music if you're in a party or during the holidays and works quite well. Fills up the space without really any problems, much louder than a smartphone speaker. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of this new generation Starry Sky Projector. It doesn't really add too much compared to the previous iterations, but if you don't currently have one, one of these lights are always fun to play around with, whether it's for a mood light, a night light, or for special occasions. This one just presents it in a more polished package in terms of being slightly more compact. So if interested, you can check out more details in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.